Tonight, local groups are speaking out against a proposed ordinance that would change how San Diego police conduct traffic stops. It's called the Protect Act. Supporters say it will reduce racial profiling, but opponents argue it would make San Diego more dangerous. CBS 8's Shannon Handy breaks down the proposal and the debate. Recently, the Pacific Beach Town Council voted against the Protect Act. Earlier this summer, the La Jolla Town Council did the same. Now, ultimately, it will be up to the city council to decide, but both groups worry if passed, their neighborhoods won't be as safe. On one of its most recent Instagram posts, the San Diego Police Officers Association thanked the Pacific Beach Town Council for voting to oppose the Protect Act. The council first learned about the proposal in June, then took a formal vote earlier this month. We spent a couple of months digesting, and then we came to the consensus that we just couldn't support the Protect Act. Marcella Bothwell is the PB Town Council president. She says ultimately it comes down to safety. PB commonly sees DUI drivers. More recently, she says gun violence has also been an issue in the area. Take uh, Belmont Park. We have had a lot of gang activity and shootings there. We can't take away the tools that the police use to get the guns off the street. The PB Town Council joins the La Jolla Town Council, which also voted to oppose the Protect Act. In a letter to Councilman Joe LaCava, the La Jolla Town Council wrote in part, it is paramount that our police department be able to utilize widely accepted lawful tools in their mission to keep us safe. The reason why I stopped you is because you have expired plates. The PROTECT Act was proposed by San Diego's Coalition for Police Accountability and Transparency. The goal to reduce racial profiling. As it's currently written, the PROTECT Act would eliminate pretextual stops for certain equipment violations, such as expired registration, require probable cause rather than reasonable suspicion to stop a person, and prohibit officers from questioning drivers about offenses unrelated to the traffic violation. So if I stop someone at 2 in the morning for driving without headlights on, I can ask them why they weren't driving without headlights on, but I can't ask them if they've been drinking. Jared Wilson is president of the San Diego Police Officers Association. He's been visiting community group meetings to campaign against the PROTECT Act, warning if passed, the impacts will be felt citywide. It doesn't do anything to protect anyone, and it really limits police authority in the city more than anywhere else in the country. But proponents say some of the tactics officers use now are discriminatory. Social justice leaders point to three separate studies in San Diego that showed SDPD officers are more likely to pull over black drivers and white drivers and more likely to search them. When we spoke to San Diego City Councilwoman Monica Montgomery stepped back in May about the PROTECT Act, she voiced her support and explained why. The disparities are clear. Whatever ordinance that we have to pass that will provide that balance, that will keep our community safe and deal with these disparities, that's what we're going to do. At this point, it's unclear when or if the City Council will vote on this proposal. At last check, it was undergoing an outside legal review.